Prince Philip's brutal attitude over royal name row had Queen in tears, expert. Prince Philip and the Queen have been married for more than seven decades but for years the Duke of Edinburgh was stopped from passing down his surname. A new royal biography claims the Duke's brutal attitude to the Queen over the name row had her in tears. Prince Philip, 99, and Queen Elizabeth II, 94. Married in 1947 when the Second World War was still very much alive in the minds of the British public. The view was taken by the palace at the time that it would have been ill-received if the Duke passed on his Germanic Mountbatten surname to his offspring when Prince Charles was born in 1948. In her book, My Husband and I, The Inside Story of Seventy Years of the Royal Marriage, Royal expert and author Ingrid Seward describes Philip's hurt reaction. The heartbroken Duke was reported to have said at the time, I am the only man in the country not allowed to give his name to his children. I'm nothing but a bloody amoeba. Another royal expert has described the row around the Duke's surname as the long-running sore between the Queen and Philip. In his new book The Last Queen, Elizabeth II's 70-year battle to save the House of Windsor author Clive Irving describes how the row was finally put to rest with the help of Prime Minister Harold Macmillan in 1960. Mr. Irving writes, It was Harold Macmillan who finally put to rest the long-running sore between the Queen and Philip about the royal family's name. Early in 1960, when she was heavily pregnant with her third child, Prince Andrew, Macmillan visited her at Sandringham. He was unaware of the deep feelings involved. According to Mr. Irving, Macmillan detailed the Queen's dedication to Prince Philip and her deep wish to make him happy in his diary. Mr. Irving quotes Macmillan's diary as saying, The Queen only wishes, properly enough, to do something to please her husband, with whom she is desperately in love, he wrote in his diary. What upsets me, he continued. Dot is the prince's brutal attitude to the queen over all this. I shall never forget what she said to me that Sunday night at Sandringham. While Macmillan did not detail what the Duke of Edinburgh had said, a compromise around the name was finally reached and it was decided that any of the queen and Philip's grandchildren not high up in the line of succession would be registered as Mountbatten-Windsor.